Now let's move on to the stable wide complex tachycardia side. So wide complex is also broken down similarly to narrow complex to regular and irregular. So starting with wide complex regular tachycardias, there's only two. There's ventricular tachycardia, or VTAC, and SVT with aberrancy, and we'll talk about what that means. But let's first start about talking about ventricular tachycardia, or VT. So ventricular tachycardia can be monomorphic or polymorphic. Monomorphic means that it's coming from a single focus, while polymorphic means that it's coming from different foci um, in the ventricle. And there's some terminology that you have to know. So if you have one beat of VT, what's that called? It's a PVC, or a premature ventricular contraction. If you have two beats of VT, that's called, it's a couplet. If you have three beats or more VT, but it's less than 30 seconds, this is an NSVT, or a non-sustained VT. And this you'll actually hear a lot about, because a lot of patients in the hospital have these, quote, runs of VT, but they're actually less than 30 seconds, and it's actually a non-sustained VT. So it's much less serious than an actual VT, but it is something you gotta monitor. But you'll definitely get pages in the hospital where so-and-so Mr. Jones or had a run of VT for eight seconds or eight beats. So that's less concerning than saying that a patient is actually in VT and they're still, whether they're becoming unstable or symptomatic. So it's kind of important to know what NSVT is and what actual VT is. So greater than 30 seconds of VT, that's a diagnosis of VT. And then let's say you have alternating PVCs. So a PVC, normal beat PVC, what's that called? That's bigeminy. If you have a PVC every third beat, so normal beat, normal beat PVC, that's called trigeminy. So let's first look at an example of VT. So looking here, looking at the bottom rhythm strip of two, we see that this is a monomorphic wide complex tachycardia. You just kind of see these big QRS complexes just going up and down, up and down. So this is a classic VT. We see that it's regular, we see that it's wide complex, so this is a VT. Here we have some of the examples of the terminology that we use, so these two uh, QRS complexes are PVCs together, so those are a couplet. And here we have a normal beat PVC, normal beat PVC, so that's bigeminy. So this is what couplets look like, and this is what bigeminy looks like. So whenever you have a patient with a wide complex narrow tachycardia, you have to act fast. You have to get the crash cart, um, let the team know to be ready, because this patient might decompensate very, very quickly. If they are stable, though, um, you can treat them with amiodarone, which usually is given uh, 150 milligrams over 10 minutes. If that doesn't work, or if they have contraindications to that, you can give lidocaine, which usually is given 1 to 1.5 mg per kg, but you'll usually see it given as a 100 milligram bolus. And if that doesn't work, you could sometimes see subtle all used. But by the time you're doing that, you're usually talking to the cardiology fellow or the cardiology team um, to see how to treat this patient. The other wide complex narrow tachycardia, or sorry, the wide complex regular tachycardia is SVT with aberrancy. And what does that mean? You've probably heard SVT with aberrancy before, and it kind of seems like it has this weird name. What does aberrancy mean? All it really means is that at baseline, this patient has a wide complex tachycardia, whether it's due to a bundle branch block or other things. And when their heart beats fast, when it becomes a tachycardia, it looks like a wide complex tachycardia. So it's an SVT, it's a supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy, the aberrancy being that it has a wired QRS. So some of those examples are you can have an SVT with a bundle branch block, you can have an SVT um, with Wolf Parkinson White like we saw in our prior videos. Sometimes pacemakers, they create these wide complex tachycardias. So if they're misfiring, patients could have what looks like a VT or patients that have a TCA overdose. The key thing here is that these EKGs look exactly like VTAC, and you want to treat them like that too, which we'll talk about in a sec. But first, let's look at these examples. So here, we have this wide complex tachycardia, and it's beating at about 150 beats per minute. And this was actually an SVT with a left bundle branch block. However, I want you to compare it to this EKG, which is very similar, 
and you see that it's also beating pretty quickly a little it's almost also like more than 150 beats per minute it's also wide complex it's also regular but this was actually a vt so the main thing to kind of note here is that svt with a baron c and vt look almost identical there are ways to differentiate them there's this brugato algorithm there's many many algorithm out there um, to differentiate between SVT with a Baron C and VT. The thing to know is that you do not have to know this. This is more for cardiologists to kind of figure out um, nuances, how to treat these patients, how to really figure out on an EKG um, what these patients were experiencing. But when it comes to treatment, you always, 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 always treat this like ventricular tachycardia because the last thing you want is to treat this patient like an SVT with a Baron C when it was actually VT and you kill them. So same thing as for VT, you get the crash cart, you, every, you inform all the necessary people, you can give them amio, you can give them lidocaine, or you can give them sodalol, but always, always, always treat these patients like VT.